Hey friend, in this video I will share with you how I am setting my goals and how I am tracking those. I am not using Notion for that and I will use timestamps in the video if you are bored of introduction. Here is timestamps uh, to my Notion setup for goal setting and also I am using spreadsheet for KPI tracking. But let's talk about everything. There is opinion that setting goals is kind of worthless because especially if you can't really impact the numbers for the goals. Let me explain. For example, I would like to reach 50,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, but I can't really impact subscriber number. I can just produce better videos and hope the subscriber number on this channel will grow. So instead of setting goals like that, I should uh, concentrate on process and try to make better videos and so on. But I'm thinking that setting goals is important because that is easier to prioritize your tasks when you have a bunch of work to do. Because your goals are your kind of North Star, you kind of mind vision, mind focus of your uh, workflow. So let me show how I'm setting goals in my Notion. So here is my Notion page for my goals and for 20. 22, I have three main focus that is content creation, products and travel. So for content creation, basically that is my kind of mind focus for this YouTube channel. I have this goal here. I would like to reach to 50K subscribers on this channel. Instagram mm, could be nice to get to the 75. 75, it's kind of small number. Let's go for 100, right? I am already on 60,000 now. So 75 is not fire. <laughs> it's not challenging. Let's go to 100. And for Twitter, it will be nice to reach 3000 subscribers. So basically I have notes here. I have 1800 currently on Twitter, 65k followers on Instagram, and we are on 16.4 thousand uh, subscribers on this YouTube channel. So actually, I check it Social Blade predictions. Social Blade is saying that I am I will be on about. 30,000 subscribers in 12 months, basically at the end of the year. So 50,000 is kind of reachable, but still challenging number. Basically, I would like to have those numbers here, <laughs> but I will not be disappointed if I will not reach those numbers. So one more time, I see how setting goals like that can be ineffective because you can't impact that number really. And if you will feel bad, if you will not reach that number, that is really sad. I'm kind of fine with not reaching <laughs> deadlines and so on. So probably my long time in product development helps with that because that is kind of day to day work, missing deadlines. And yeah, for products, basically, I will get to 5K in a month in revenue from my own products. Currently, I'm focusing on iOS applications and currently I am on 1000 in revenue. Would like to get to 5K, but just already wrote down for myself to do not forget that if I will get to 3K, that will be anyways, that will be nice. And for trips, yeah, I would like to go for three vacation trips in in the next year. Those are my goals, but most importantly, goals without plan, that is just kind of wishful thinking. We have to have plan to be able to execute on it, to move forward to our goals. Most important actually is uh, tactics and routines, which I would like to do weekly or daily to move forward to this goal. And that is kind of easy to describe. When you know your goals, then you can think backwards what you have to do to reach those goals. And for YouTube, I'm planning to record and publish 50 videos. Actually, in 2022, we have 52 weeks. So let's go for 52 videos. I'm planning to post on Instagram five to seven times in a week and planning to post on Twitter five times in a week week. So I have no notes here, not always needed. For working on my own products, basically I am planning to spend four to eight hours per week working on my own applications and planning to stream. I started co-working streams last year, planning to continue that in this year, but unfortunately in smaller amount because I will need to freelance a little bit more. And that is kind of not decided yet, but probably I will create something else besides this uh, iOS apps because that will be nice to have some, uh, let's say, kind of course or something like that. For travel, I already have kind of planned spring trip is Tenerife. Actually, I already started to plan it. I have a page for the trip. If I will click on it, I already have flights, not booked, but kind of found. I'm planning to live for two weeks in Tenerife and I already have a link to the hotel 
hotels for in the city where I would like to stay and so on and so on. That's kind of ongoing process already. So that is kind of about planning, but to follow throughout the plan, you we have to kind of execute on it and I have actions right here, right down and I have yearly goal versus current KPIs. Basically YouTube subscribers, I have target here, 50,000 and current status and we are on 32% of the target. Same for Instagram subs trips basically as soon as i will go in march to that trip i will have one here and we will be on 30 percent you got the point basically that is kind of big picture just monitoring and i am doing weekly reviews for my tasks and i'm planning to update th those status stats in my weekly reviews yeah for year those will be 52 videos in the year so basically somewhere in the middle of the year when, when when i will be on 30 videos so i will see update here for most of us probably that will be enough to kind of set goals follow through them and so on but also i added here spreadsheet template if you are in more in numbers like i am and you would like to have a little bit detailed monitoring on kpis on weekly base, I will suggest to use some spreadsheet because Notion is kind of nice for note taking and some simple tables and so on, but maybe I'm not expert in Notion, but I didn't found how to reproduce good uh, spreadsheet in Notion. Here I have my spreadsheet for action tracking working on goals. I have three goals here. Basically, those are personal brand growth, grow on own product income that is the same that i have in my yearly plans health is kind of additional point here and what i'm tracking here for so for youtube i'm planning to upload youtube video as soon as i will upload video i will have one here and i will have percentage change it here post on instagram five times per week let's imagine that i posted my five times per week twitter posts let's say i posted just three times per week and let's say i put here six target hours for working on my own product income let's say target to six and if i will say let's say four hours basically you see the percentage here is changed and total score here is 54 percent okay let's add some exercise let's say i'm planning to go to the gym three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm planning to run or do cardio twice per week. So I am already on 87.88%. So for me, that will be good to add at least one more Twitter post to be on 90%. If I will get to the 100, so I will be happy, of course. But if I will be on 90%, that is kind of Okay, we, I'm planning to do 12 week sprints on my running on those tasks and I'm monitoring my KPIs. For example, Instagram followers, let's just copy paste that column. Last week is kind of start of the week, what I have, and this is end of the week. Let's make it kind of bigger. Let's say we have number like that. Then I will see immediately that I have 100 followers uh, more on Instagram. For Twitter, let's say, for example, change that to four. I will see that I lost two followers on Twitter and so on. YouTube subscribers, uh, YouTube views, YouTube revenue. Actually, that is uh, exact uh, number that I have here. Proceeds, that is in a purchases, how much revenue I got on my own applications, app downloads. I'm not showing those numbers here just because some copycats become very active. That is my weight. I'm tracking my weight, uh, fat. Uh, that is not secret, just my scales are broken. That's true. <laughs> scales are not showing fat anymore. Uh, waist kind of uh, measurement and biceps measurement. Basically, that's what I'm planning to track. And I will do that for 12 weeks and then I will kind of will do some review. If I will stay on 90% of execution on my actions, I will be allowed to buy something fun for myself. I don't know, maybe new lens, maybe new camera, maybe longboard, maybe, I don't know, whatever. I didn't decide yet, but I have to write that down before I start this 12 week sprint. I will run this for 12 weeks, then I will do some analysis, will see what works, what not, what I have to change and so on, if I will decide to change something and yeah. Basically, that is how I'm tracking uh, my goals. Uh, if you are interested to copy 
complete that, I will share empty spreadsheet. You can use it if you like it. If don't, just, I don't know, make your own. There is nothing interesting or challenging. And also I will share this Notion page. You can duplicate this Notion page. Those formulas are a little bit tricky. You can try to search for progress bar designs for Notion database, but basically you can click on formula here. You will see what's happening. Basically I'm looking into current number compared that with target number and do some math and show this or that in the column. <laughs> yeah, basically that's how it works. Yeah. If you like to know how to set better goals, I have a video about that. Check that out. There are three principles how to set better goals and how I am setting goals for myself for next year. And usually I'm not waiting for new year to set goals. I'm reviewing my goals and progress on them every 12 weeks. And if needed, I'm changing my goals and plan and moving to another direction. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye bye.